Yeah, it's the Renoa elements, but no Renoa. Okay, um... One sick. But four awakenings. Uh, one of the awakenings is, is Yuffie. Oh, these awakenings are much better than three awakenings on the first banner. But let's start with Ridio's, Ridio's sink. Um... And Earth Synchro mode, pretty typical so far. But uh, Rydia's uh, awesome. <laughs> um, since she got access to the, to the stacking and Earth, so she gets self quick cast on a six single target Earth attack. Uh, Riddy's hero ability is amazing, uh, just like Onion Knight. Defend, summoning three single target self smart after earth damage 30% for three turns. Mm. I mean, whatever. Uh, you, Because of the way Riddia works, uh, I might as well go over it in the fact that she is a black mage and a summoner, and her synchros are elemental based. So what you can do um, with her Synchro and Awakening together is basically turn her into a triple caster. So what happens when you use an Awakening and a Synchro together is it de-links stuff that... Um, gets turned into, you know, infinite uses. So anything under the purview of um, the Awakening. Well, Rydia's Synchro, or Rydia's Awakening is summoning. So it would remove all summoning abilities from the Synchro. And it would dual cast the Synchro command instead. Um, but because Rydia is also a Black Mage, you just, you, you just put Black Magic there. So she would dual cast the Synchro Command because of the Awakening. And it wouldn't de-link the Black Magic. So she would triple cast. She would dual cast the Synchro Command and then also cast the Earth Black Magic ability. Because the Synchro is Earth and the, the Awakening is Summoning. Um, so Riddies are ridiculously powerful. That's all we really have to say about that. And she's really good even if you just have the Synchro. You don't necessarily need the Awakening. But uh, I would be very interested in selecting Rydia's Awakening for 100 Mithril if I were to get her Synchro. It's on there, right? Please tell me it's on there. I mean, he's been on there for a while. The banner's not even out yet. Okay. Good. That's confusing how to awakening with Synchro. Yeah, I mean the 100 Mithril select. There's only a limited pool on there. Um, I, I guess I can go over that again. So what does a Synchro do? A Synchro turns your attack and defend commands into abilities. And when you use those abilities, as long as it, uh, the stuff in your ability slots cover the conditions, which is Earth, then you also use that ability. So if you had Titan, the five-star Earth Summoning ability in your first ability slot, if you used Rydia Synchro and used her first command, it would cast this ability, and then it would cast Titan. So it's kind of like dual casting. Um, and the same thing for a second command. All that has to do is 
Fulfill the condition of being an Earth attack. That's it. Um, so, now forget the Synchro for a second. Now, think about what an Awakening does. What does Rydia's Awakening do? It dual casts summoning abilities automatically, but it also turns their uses into infinite. It, it removes their uses. Now, the interaction that that has with Synchros is that anything that doesn't have any uses, which is infinite use abilities, cannot be synced. So on a normal character, what, what, what would happen is you would dual cast the summon ability, the command, but nothing else would happen because it the abilities in your slots would be invalid since they're infinite uses because of the awakening. That's what, what normally happens with an awakening. Uh, in, uh, awakening and synchro. It delinks them. But because Rydia is in a very unique, not, not unique situation, but there's, it's basically just you know, she's one of the few, where she has access to black magic, which has six star earth abilities, and she has access to summoning, which has six star abilities. So she's, she's both a black mage and a summoner. So remember what her awakening does. It's a summoning awakening. It will only turn the uses on, say, Titan, into infinite uses, but what say what happens if you put Chain Stonja in your ability slot? Does the Awakening affect that? Not at all. But it still makes you dual cast summoning abilities. So you use her Synchro command. If you're using the Synchro and Awakening together, use the Synchro command, it will dual cast it, because this is summoning. But the Synchro notices that Chain Stonja is in your first ability slot and it has 10 uses on it so it says hey I'm gonna sync up my commands with that as well so you cast this twice because of the awakening and then you use chain stonja because of the sync is that um did I get it better that time <laughs> okay the wow is what I'm looking for yes it's it's incredibly powerful. She doesn't have six star, whatever, five star works too. Chain stone gun. Uh, no, you automatically have six star black if you have five star. What the? Yeah. <laughs> CSDX got it. Uh, all the nightmare schools, black magic, white magic, support, celerity, combat, automatically go to six star. In all cases. Spellblade is not one of the nightmares. Spellblade is one you unlock with moats. <laughs> it's probably a good idea, Wander. Okay, so Rydia Synchro Strong. Yuffie Awakening. This is her second Awakening. 15 single target. Single ranged. Earth. Party physical blink one. Self and Earth. Flash Earth Awakening, top of the world, okay? Instant Earth. It's... 
it's fine because it's Yuffie and Earth abilities are crazy. Um, now you would clearly want to combo this with her first awakening, which is a ninja awakening. It's not elemental based, so you would uh, use her first awakening and then use her second. And you would instant Earth Ninja abilities twice. Now our first is Ninja. But it also gives her Ren Water. That's why you would want to use the, or the Earth Awakening second to overwrite the N Water with an Earth. So you would have a Ninja Awakening active and an Earth Awakening. It is a waste, but it does turn her into a good Earth Ninja. Um, she could also be a very good Earth Ninja if you have access to her USB 3, but unfortunately, it's a Kingdom Hearts relic and we may never see it again. So this would be how you get an Earth and Break Damage Cap plus one on Yuffie. There's other ways to get her on Earth, though. Oh, that Chases also has Earth on it? That's awesome. Yeah, her two Awakenings definitely were meant to be used together. <laughs> Incidentally, I think Yuffie's Earth USB is probably the best thing off the Kingdom Hearts ban uh, banner. <laughs> Thank goodness. It, it's even better, Tenor, now that you get to put Makina's chain and keep it on the bench. It's like, it's like a slap in his face. So that's Yuffie's Awakening. Um, By itself, as, you know, it's, it obviously works extremely well by its, uh, with the Awakening 1, but... What about by itself? I suppose. I, I mean, instant casting Earth abilities on Yuffie, it's fine. She does have dual cast already. And chasing three Earth with, Imper with Imperial Earth is pretty good, even if the Earth damage never amounts to anything. It's fine. It's fine by itself. Uh, it goes crazy if you've got a uh, Awakening 1. Uh, and is there any other... <laughs> Yuffie gets an Earth Arcane, but it's only three hits. At least she does get a Switch Draw mode. Glint, and this is another way to get her in Earth. Um, no. Does she have stacking? No, she doesn't. Chain Materia Mode 2. Oh, maybe she does. I think the two means stacking. Yeah. So her glint is uh, is stacking for water and earth. Okay. Uh, next up. Vivi's second awakening? Life awakening twin element mode? Vivi trance.
Okay, so it's um, it's a switch draw. Ice and Lightning Awakening, VV Trance. Uh, we all pretty much know what that does, because that's his that's his Legend Materia too. Um, this his Glint is the only other way he can get an Lightning or an Ice. I'm I'm sure it's I mean VV with a 50% chance of dual cast is really powerful. Uh but I don't like that he's basically he's like the other characters that I've already gone over in this festival so far. He's out on a limb. You know, he doesn't have access to anything beyond this. So if you get one of these it's mm, So I don't, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of, uh, Ice and Lightning VV. Uh, Adia's Awakening. Oh, thank goodness we have real an element, not a friggin' switch draw. Chase Black Magic with two times self magical high quick cast two. Chase Witch with a two time chase and self ice damage 10%. Uh, you know, as far as an ice awakening go, that's pretty underwhelming. No, doesn't Ace give uh, a party buff? No? I thought uh, that's the one I went over first, Ryan. Self Magical High Quick Cast 2. Right. But, I mean, that's still not... It's not, still not great, it's just giving her more ice damage. And Magical Eye Quick Cast 2 isn't really worth a whole lot. It's not, it's not that great. Let's go to Tella. Um, Tella's Awakening, 15 single target Earth and Earth, Earth Awakening, Earth Release Mode. <laughs> this is... Yeah, this is uh, it's kind of interesting when you consider the what Tella's um, USB is. Tella is one of like Dark Cecil is one of those characters that gets a, a dual cast, but not ability double USB. It's got um, it's got an interesting condition on it, but um, if it means triple casting, that's it. Probably it turns him into a god, basically. Uh, and he does have many ways uh, that I, I think he has many ways to get an Earth, even if you only get this on the banner. Also, has a Generation 3 Earth Chain on the banner. Okay. He does die after his USB. 
Uh, so you don't want to be spamming his USB. In fact, if you if you cast his USB twice, he will instantly die. Because it, uh, it removes the first status and then... Well, it never gets a chance to re-up the second version. Because he's dead. And indeed, it just gets a regular Generation 2 chain. So is that it for Tellas uh, and Earth? Is, uh, what, LMR? Oh, no, Andrew just posted it. Glimp Plus. His Glimp Plus isn't here. So there's no spammable shit. That sucks. So he just kind of... Well, if he's if he's got the chain, that's fine. He can, he can sit there and do nothing for the entire fight and still be pretty effective. And then go crazy during, you know, whatever phase that you want him to. Well, that's not true, Andrew. No spammable on Earth. But he actually has a very spammable Super Soul Break. One of the best Super Soul Breaks in the game. Oh, did you? Oops. Yeah, it's Instant House 1 to party. Also dooms him for like 45 seconds or something like that. But, you know, if you planned on using his USB <laughs> later in the fight, who cares? You're gonna die anyway. Uh, this is kind of a... Anyway, let's, let's move on. Two Arcanes, one for Yuffie, one for Vivi. Both three hitters, so not that important. Um, the chains are pretty interesting. Really the only saving grace of the banner at the moment. Rydia Glint Plus, obviously really good. Um, Adia Glint Plus, good. At least Adia's Awakening is a real DPS Awakening. And Adia has many ways to get on ice, and she does have an ability double uh, USB that can be selected off animal lenses for stuff to use when her awakening's not active. So Adia is actually a good character. He's better than Yuffie. Or, sorry, better than Vivi. Yuffie is a little weird, doesn't have great unearth sources, but, um, but is really powerful. And all these glints are almost necessary for some of these characters, like Vivi and even Yuffie. Yes, Tenor, I was. Uh, yeah, Adia's USB 2 is very good. I think it's Row Quick Cast. Row Quick Cast or High Quick Cast. One of those ones. Meridia Summon 25% is probably pretty good with that Sync command. The banner's weird. Banner's weird. Because all these characters have, like... Besides Rydia and Adia, they've got... Silly little flaws. Yeah, so why would you pull on this banner and is there... Would it be better to just find what you would get here elsewhere? That's why I said uh, her sync command, Andrew, because um, it's six hits, so the multiplier is spread out, so it has more room to grow. So ice, I can definitely point you towards a banner. And that's coming up really soon. It's a Final Fantasy VIII banner. It's going to be on April 16th. Um, phenomenally strong ice banner. 
Earth. Probably t more difficult. Is this the Master Awaken? But that's just Master. Master is crazy, by the way. Matoya is also really good. And I'm sure Sarah's Awakening is good for realm purposes. But that if you're looking for Earth, that that's that's it. Oh. I know that character. She hits things hard. The Sink Sink. Also has her awakening? my take on her awakening. Yeah. Because she can... Um she can use the ability every single turn, guaranteed, right? So that's a that's an eight hitter with ten percent my uh, ten percent in peril, and break damage cap two every single turn. And has a defense resistance resistance and mind debuff on it. I think. Just Sync's Awakening is pretty good. Well, with her USB. Does the combo make her LM2 useless? Uh, no. I, I don't know if I would use it. it. It really depends on how often you're, you know... How often she's playing out the fight without her Awakening active. But uh, unfortunately, she's the only Earth character on this. But at least there, she has a Synchro and a, and an Awakening on that banner, so that's two relics that qualify. So much, so much dark, so much dark. So anyone else know of any uh, any good Earth sources after this? Next Final Fantasy V event. That's uh, that's in the Phantasm era, isn't it? Galoof is fine, but he doesn't have a dual cast awakening. It's more of a support awakening for a chain holder. So I guess it looks like its Earth is somewhat difficult to pick up, but I mean, Sync, Sync, and Awakening is probably better than what's available on this banner. No, maybe not. Yeah, I. I don't know. Yeah, probably. 
Yeah, if we're being honest. It's already a sink, and then... I think this banner is probably interesting for the chains. And it depends on... It, not all chain holders were... Are, are, are equal crazy horse. But there are situations where I would use the, the off chain. Like, I, my physical ice team, for instance, is probably going to use Sarah's magic chain. Well, I was thinking more Tella and Rydia. Yuffie's fine, but she's physical. So that, again, is still only one relic. Where at least Yuffie and Tella are two relics of the same type. Where, say, Sink, Sink, and Awakening are two relics of the physical type. Can I review Poram Awakening? Is that in this festival? Uh, isn't that on Banner 4? <laughs> then why wouldn't I review it? <laughs> Am I going to stop before I get to Banner 4? The, but no, that's it, Cobalt, is, uh, is Ward. And he's probably a pretty good Earth character, but still, only one. But if there is a benefit to that, it's that you're not just pulling on this banner for Earth. You 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 pull on this banner for Ice, and if you also need Earth, then Ward is Ward makes the banner even better than it is for most people that are pulling here. But anyway, back to Banner 2, the chains. The, the chains have to be the reason to pull on this banner. Um, if you're looking for a magical ice chain or a, a magical earth chain. So if you not only need earth, but... Or more like if you need the chains and then also need earth to go along with it. Um, both of them are good chain holders. Adia is just a powerful ice character, and Tella is a good support character, who can also DPS quite well too. So I think uh, that I mean this is probably the focus here, even though I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that want to chase Rydia for the pure power. I, you know me, I can never really condone a banner in chasing a single relic. Luckily, I got my refresh in when uh, Half Stamp first came out. Anyway, that's why I feel about Pender 2. It's not that favorable. I thought I was going to, you know, first look at it. I thought it was going to be better than I thought it was, but... Um, it looks like we're in a weird era of the game right now where they're doing a lot of... A lot of this... Which is, hey, I'm going to release an element for a character, whether it's a new character or an old character, that they don't have anything for. So... And, and we're in the middle of the six-star magi six magicide era, so uh, you've got element diffusions to worry about during fights. So you need more than one source of your, your end element, for the most part. And... Um, Here, the only way to make a character viable is to get everything for that character on that banner. Good luck. If you want, if you want a tier list of the game at the moment, 
Look at characters that don't need to go through all those, go through that shit. Rydia has a an Earth BSB, an Earth USB, right? I think she got, she got a brave an Earth, right? I think so. And now a three stack an Earth sync. Is he even viable with everything of Banner? Definitely, because uh, this is stacking. So if he if he uses glint, you know, at a point in the fight, then he can add a limit twice, and that's enough uh, for lightning. Specifically for lightning, it's definitely enough. Uh, Leviathan is so forgiving. The diffusions come at the start of second phase and five turns into first phase. You can just forget about using uh, enlightening until after the first diffusion. You only have to deal with one. Uh, ice is different. Ice would be harder to pull off. But anyway, I don't really care for the banner other than the fact that it's a good place to get chains. And, you know, for, for as much as I don't like chasing after a single relic, uh, if you do need chains, I strongly condone picking up chains if you need them. And uh, Rydia's incredible synchro on the banner is a, a nice a consolation prize. No, it's just another good reason to pull on the banner. Anyway, that's banner two. So uh, I'm going to take a couple minutes to, to clip that. And then we'll move on to banner three, which I hear is the the headliner of the festival. <laughs> 